We found um, that once you develop tardive dyskinesia, well, it doesn't mean it's going to get worse. It doesn't mean it's going to evolve into home. some really but excruciatingly terrible syndrome, but it may. Okay. So you have to worry about each one of these patients that when you see this, that you know in two years they're going to be like this or something really bad. But most patients, that doesn't happen. And if you talk, when I've talked, to psychiatrists and I show them videotapes of people like Yosef or people who have other bizarre syndromes, they'll say, I've never seen that. And it's true. They may have treated 500 or 1,000 schizophrenics and they've never seen it. I'm the movement disorder person who sees, you know, the bad ones from the whole catchment area, you know, the whole state, and I see it. And if I show videotapes of some of these patients to other people who are movement disorder people, they won't even take, without a history, they'll say, oh, that's neuroleptic induced. You know, they won't, there's virtually no differential. They, you know, they don't think this is Huntington's disease. They don't think this is stroke. They say, this is from a neuroleptic. I mean, they're very easy to identify. How do you identify those patients early on at the beginning so you know to get them off their bad drug on another drug that's presumably not going to cause it? Nobody knows.